Hi everyone, welcome back to U77. Here we are, blatting ahead, trying to get around the convoy before the sun fully comes up. You can see it's sunrise now. Um, there appears to be a ship going the other way. There is a ship going the other way. My word, look at this. We have a um, neutral merchant heading into that convoy. Well, she's actually just going to head away over it, which is interesting. It may delay the um, destroyer here. If she has to slow down or make uh, evasive maneuvers. Interesting. Right, we've set a point down here where we're going to ambush. As you see, we're blatting along now, trying to get ahead of her, especially before the light comes up um, and uh, seeing what's going on. Um, we've just had a radio message at 11 hours, 1100 hours, British aircraft spotted at uh, Skarnhorst and somewhere. Prince Eugen has, as they enter the Straits of Dover. Okay. Wonderful. Um, one of the comments I did read, I do read your comments even if I don't always reply. I get so many comments these days, which is wonderful, but it just means um, I can't spend two to three hours <laughs> every day replying to them. Well, it's not quite that every day, but you know what I mean. Um, so, what the, the suggestion was, why don't we send... Um, a message send contact report there we go send that back to the BDU see if they're gonna give any aircraft support which we don't have any aircraft in the area or any other u-boat support which was a possibility and see what if anything comes of it I'm not expecting anything to but you never know it was a suggestion I'm happy to try okay message sent wonderful right so um that's the current situation. We are trying to get into our position. I'm um, going to keep an eye on this neutral ship, see if she's going to cause any distraction or uh, interference for the um, for that destroyer, which would be good. We have uh, an electric torpedo in torpedo tube one and two steams in two and three, and we've got the uh, three three steam torpedoes for the rear firing torpedo tube. Uh, obviously, one external, which would mean. Um, we need to get a way to uh, bring that inside. Um, but things are looking good for the moment. Um, again, I may try and get just beyond this ship, or maybe... Oh, I don't know. We're going to have to see how it plays out with this uh, destroyer. And uh, take a couple of snapshots. And again, I want to dive under the, the, the convoy, which will give us a chance to go quiet, but deep at the same time, which would be great. Right, we'll speed on, and I'll see you in a bit. Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, let me show you the developments. So first of all, let's have a look. We got a message. Um, we got a message back from the BDU with our contact report. All available submarines have been dispatched to your patrol area. Then from U66, no, let me start that again. From U688 to us, U77, contact keeper. Continue to send bearing signals. Group act on own. Take data take every opportunity to attack there are other u-boats in the vicinity and that bears fruit look they've spotted something this destroyer's turned round and is heading that way and they not even got up to me so something's are happening there are other oh my goodness thank you for that call there are other u-boats in the area attacking um i'm kind of i, I want to keep the uh, periscope down as long as possible until they're past us because we don't want to give our position away now that they're already alerted. What the heck is that? Not quite sure what that is, but um, it's obviously just something distorted in the water. Um, yeah, I can't see any U-boats through the periscope down here. But yes, we're going to hold station for a little bit, wait till they come past us, the main bulk of the ships. Fire off the three torpedoes and then we're going to dive down. Thankfully, the other U-boats may keep the destroyers away from us this time. There are a few destroyers. I think there was four or was there five? Maybe maybe five. Um, three definitely appearing on the uh, on the map. Uh, although I only see two at the moment. Uh, that has of course now moved him into our path. He was up here. 
and he was going to sail by us. So we're going to have to play that one by ear as well. Time will tell. Hi everyone, welcome back. We've got a bit of development. These two have just turned and coming straight for us. Now we've not made a sound, we've been sitting here, haven't even raised the periscope. But they have spotted us, I'm pretty sure they have. So we're going to have to dive. Battle stations, silent running. Let's go deep. Um, one of the problems with the other U-boat attacking, U-688, was the uh, the ships were coming along this course. Now they've started to um, dodge and weave and they've headed south, which means we are no longer in a firing position. Um, add to that that these two destroyers have now just locked onto us. Uh, we're not in a very happy happy situation all of a sudden. It was all grand and, and um, grand and giggles up until about two or three minutes ago. Now it's all doom and gloom. Um, Coming past 20 meters now. I do not want to be in here if they start depth charging us. Don't want to be in the sub full stop to be fair, but we'll do what we have to do. Let's come down to the uh, the con and um, yes, sink, sink, sink. Hi everyone. Right, we've decided. Well, decided to hold here at 144 meters depth. Um, their active sonar has now gone off because of the. Uh, they've still got their passive, so um, hopefully that should be enough for them to uh, sail straight over. Fingers crossed. So we're gonna we're gonna make like a hole in the water and be as quiet as possible. New contact. Merchant moving fast. Constant distance. Bearing three, two, nine. Long range. New contact. Warship moving slow. Closing. Bearing three, one, zero. Long range. Okay. You can hear the motors. It's the destroyer just going over us. A slightly nervous save there. Auto save. Maybe they know something we don't. As long as we don't get the call for depth charges in the water, we should be okay. New contact. Merchant moving slow. Moving away. Bearing one. Long range. Moving slow. Moving away. Bearing one, two, three. Short range. Takes up the periscope depth. Now that he's gone by, they've they've jinked up again. They were going south, they're now jinking north. So if we can get up quickly, we might be able to snap a few shots away, and then dive away, and then we'll probably just try and clear out. We've given the location of the contact of the of the convoy to the BDU, um, and then they should be able to uh, attack it as they can. We need to get away and. Um, get some resupplies but we can fire these torpedoes away and uh, so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna climb 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 I'm gonna risk a little bit more speed Slow speed ahead. no we're not Minimum speed it's gonna make ahead. us uh, very much um, detectable by that uh, destroyers so now is he going up or is he going straight? I was hoping he's going to go straight and then he'd have to do a whole turn to come back for us, which will give us time to sink. Okay, we've got to 100 meters and they have detected us. Okay. Um. Deeper, God damn it. We better go deep then. We can't get up. We can't get up to fire our torpedoes. Four planes. Eight degrees down. Half planes. Merchant. Moving slow, moving away, up. bearing seven, long range. New 
Contact. Merchant, moving fast. Closing. Bearing, three, two, eight. Long range. Current depth, one, one, zero. Meters. Hi, everyone. We've danced the light fantastic. And we're, uh, we've managed to come to surface. Uh, not to surface, beg your pardon. <laughs> that would be suicidal. But we're doing the next suicidal thing, which is come to periscope depth. We've dodged the um, the various uh, ships. So, um, we've got... Where is this? Straight out in front of me. Let's get my map ready. Let's get everything ready so we can have a few snap shots. Right, torpedo tube one. Flood, flood, flood. Right, two. Set those to fast. And we're going to have them at 200 bit meters. Tube one, that's fine. Deep breath, let's go. Destroyer right in front of us. Um, oh, they're all coming towards us, which is a bit awkward. Um, select that one. Lock it on. Boop, boop, boop. We get a nice. Oh, she's a nice deep hull. Um, whoa, I know they're doing seven knots. Angler bow is. Um, I don't even know which way she's going now. We're about there. Um, so tube one, medium speed. Okay, fire. Just now got onto that destroyer, which is fine. Let's unlock that. They are all going the opposite direction. However, these ones over here. No, these ones here. Here, here, please. There we go. Thank you. Um, torpedo tube two. Um, right, actually, let's let's unlock. Let's target to about there. Fire. There, they seem to be turning around. Do they? They do. Right, torpedo tube three. We're going to put on a slow. And then we're going to fire um, about there to try and either hit this one or this destroyer coming by. Right, dive. Current depth five zero. Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, one torpedo struck home. Uh, the other two were near misses, uh, which is disappointing. But you know they were blind shots, so um, we'll go back to silent running. We're diving down slowly. Um, we don't have much to offer now. We got the rear torpedo tube, but we've caused a bit of distraction, and we're going to sneak away now and try and get some. Uh, Reloading and, and sort of rearming, resupplying. Um, but yes, as I said, we did hit a one of the ships, and it was a uh, bulk cargo carrier which sunk for eight thousand one hundred and seven tons. So that has taken us over the glorious two hundred thousand tons in merchant tonnage. So we've got four thousand two hundred thirty warship tonnage, two hundred five thousand four hundred thirty seven merchant tonnage for a total of two thousand. So, 209,667 damage. 30 ships have sunk, been sunk, and a uh, total of zero aircraft have been uh, destroyed. So, we're going to get down to about 130 uh, meters, and then we're going to start um, heading out. So, uh, let's start heading away, actually. We're, we're kind of still heading towards them. We've got a, we've got a destroyer behind us, so actually, let's head that way. Let's stop any confusion that we're getting out of this place uh, by going that away, not the way the uh, the ships are going. Excellent. So they're a little bit upset, as you can imagine. We still have U six eight eight in the vicinity. If she has not been sunk by the um, depth charging we saw earlier, uh, fortunately it wasn't really close to us. Um, I haven't had any reports, but then. Um, she wouldn't report that she was sinking, would she? <laughs> They'd be dead. Um, so there's only reports if uh, 
in a few weeks she doesn't report in. So um, keep an eye for U688, just in case um, she has sadly gone. But um, she hasn't done an attack since that initial uh, disruption. I didn't see any hits from her on the uh, convoy, but obviously she was detected and uh, caused the destroyers to panic and the, the ships to start weaving. Which made it a little bit more tricky for us, but it's okay. Right, we're going to sail away then. Ship going overhead. Please don't drop us depth charge. Long range. <sighs> okay. Slow, moving away. Bearing three zero nine. Short range. Oh, there she was. Okay, we're below their active radar, we would seem. So let's. We're going to hold here and start sneaking away. I'll see you in a few. Hi everyone, welcome back. We've uh, some time has passed, so we're now surf. Well, not so. I keep saying surfacing. We are now coming up to periscope get depth to um, check on the horizon. We do have the observation of uh, periscope, but uh, I always go up to the attack periscope for some reason. I'm not sure why. Just force of habit, I suppose. There we go. Have a little scan. See if you can see anything on the horizon, any smook, smook, smoke from any funnels or any ships. It all looks relatively clear. Do a full 360. Oh, there you go. Directly behind us, there's something. A 180, but that would be the 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 end of the convoy, won't it? So. Okay, so it's just that thing at 180 degrees. It was somewhere here, wasn't it? There it is. 185. Um, okay, we're going to stay down here just a little bit longer. You can see we're just hugging the um, the side here, so it's just on the, over the deep water. Um, and then we're going to surface the boat and... Uh, Make for some um, communications with the uh, the outside world. Smoke on the horizon. Bearing one nine zero. Right, okay, bit of fresh air. We know we've got that smoke on the horizon, which we saw, but that's far enough away that we should be okay. You can see there's. Uh, that should be good. Right, we got such a low smoke profile, the they should not be able to see us. One, nine, zero. That's good. Right, um, so we can't do anything with that. We can't sadly bring the torpedoes from the rear to the front. Uh, obviously, logistical nightmare. Fuel, we've got 47%. Battery life is 90%, which is all good and groovy. Um, that reminds me. Smoke on the horizon, bearing Chief, let's get these batteries recharging. I know they're 90%, but I always like to have them at 100%. Just gives us that little bit extra bit of reassurance. Right. Let's um, let's go and get a resupply. Ooh. Having problems getting through that door. 
Right. Um, let's have a Wolfram. We need a resupply. Yeah. We've got the coordinates for the resupply. Excellent. Where are they? They're there. Perfect. Perfect. Right. They are going the opposite way, aren't they? That's fine. Um, good. Right. Um, we're going to head to that, uh, my, uh, my, my, my map's gone a bit screwy, as you can see. Hang on. Can we... Excellent. Hang on. I think that's because I was stuck in that dialogue. My map hits <laughs> at my map a screw time. Right. Let's head to that rendezvous. And we're going to get resupplied. Fantastico. Excellent news. Good stuff. Right. Um... Hopefully things are going to be crossed. Fingers crossed. We should be have a relatively peaceful way to get there. Obviously they're all reporting in those task force now, but they are going the opposite direction. All good and groovy. How, what is the distance of that? Sixteen kilometres. Okay, it's a nice clear day. Visibility is good apparently. Excellent. Right. Um, yeah. So we're going to resupply. And I'll see you in a uh, a little while. Ah, there we go. Maybe that's U688. There you go. A U-boat heading, chasing the, uh, heading towards the convoy, chasing them down, stalking them all the way. Maybe she's uh, radioing contact reports to the other ones. Yes, we've got a U-boat, and she's uh, she's tracking that uh, party of uh, ships that we just we've just uh, attacked. So um, yeah, maybe maybe it's not U688, but um, it's one of the ones coming to the uh, the cry of help. So. Yeah, we're going to let her go on her way. Maybe she's just had a refuel and a rearm as well from the convoy. Sorry, from the um, from the resupply ship down here. My map is just just not one. New radio message. Okay. My map is having all sorts of problems today. There we go. Okie koki. Beacon signals. Oh no, that's U seven eight. Sorry, seven four eight. My. Trouble with reading numbers today is um, very significant. Uh, beacon signals lie in the line to approach according to dead reckoning. Attack far side of the convoy. Okay. Nice. Um, maybe we should tell her we're not. We're going back to rearm. We're not going to attack. Um, but there we go. U748 heading to the uh, convoy attack. Excellent. Hi everyone, welcome back. We found our resupply. It's a resupply sub. It's a milk cow. Nice. Um, so let's uh, resupply. U four four five. Let's. Uh, we can refit. Refit complete. Nice. Just double check. Yep, everything is looking good. Uh, fuel is looking grand. Excellent. So uh, we've had a bit of a a chase because the coordinates were down here somewhere. Uh, and then we, I spotted the um, submarine on the map, and she was heading north. So we've just had to chase her down, which is um, not ideal. But anyway, we've got our resupply. Thank you, supply ship. Not oh, supply sub. Oh, where's she gone? There she is. Wonderful. Grand stuff. Right. So we are now fit for uh, attack again. Now, I've had a lot of people say, why don't you go back to base and... Um, End the patrol, get you in now and do that kind of thing. Well, A, it's a blooming long way back. It's a really long way back. Um, and when I come to the end screen, uh, I can see that the second happy time, which is this mission here, is obviously long completed. Um, but they still have the tankers in the uh, the Gulf of Mexico um, to do. So... We are heading uh, that away. We are going to go past um, Hamilton, and then we're going to dive to Cuba, and then head into the Gulf of Mexi Mexico. And um, oh, is that a neutral port? Maybe. Uh, and maybe, uh, and we're going to start attacking there. So I've got a long, long drive ahead of me. So um, it's just going to take me several hours to get down here. Uh, so I'm going to do this 
offline and uh, hopefully we can um, get moving in a fairly economic way as well. We have had a resupply down here so that's not something to worry about. We can get refueled down here. Um, but yeah, we are heading towards the Gulf of Mexico to try and take some of those oil tankers out. Uh, and then we can make a decision on whether or not we want to go back to Europe after that. But um, yeah, that's the next course of action. It's February the 14th, 1942. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Happy Valentine's Day. Right, we're going to leave it there. Thanks ever so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Not the hell was that? This thing went shooting past the screen and landed in the water. I think, or oh, oh, my eyes are just going funny, playing tricks on me. So yeah, we've we've um we've called in the the resupply sub. She's now off back to re resupply herself, maybe, or to go and fit out some other U-boats. We uh, we found the convoy. We called it in. Uh, U six eight eight started the attack, distracted the the escorts, which gave us a chance to pop up, have a couple of shots. We hit and sunk one ship, and uh, were then able to dive away uh, and make a run for it. Since then, we've also seen another U-boat, 748, something like that, wasn't it? Or 755, heading towards uh, the convoy, tracing them down to join the fight with uh, U-688. So, yeah, it's been an interesting day, if not particularly action-packed, but um, I've certainly enjoyed it. I hope you have too. Uh, but we're going to leave it there for this week. Thanks so much for watching. We're now heading down to Mexico, as I said. Uh, and that's when you'll rejoin me next week, unless something majorly significant happens along the way. Um, so until then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.